happy Saturday, everyone. So I am so sorry, but today is not going to be a PR haul. And the reason why is because since Monday was a holiday, I didn't get that many packages this week. Every single time when there's a holiday on a Monday, usually everything gets delayed. So I have maybe like six packages out there, which is not enough for a PR haul because I know you guys like those videos to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna save them for next Saturday. So that way next Saturday will be a little bit longer of a PR haul, which you guys love. So I did some digging and I was like, what type of video could I film that I know you guys would really, really like? And as you guys know, I'm like really, really deep into drugstore right now, like so into drugstore. So I was at Target and I found a ton of products in here that I got and they are all five stars at Target that are also under $10, which made me really excited because I'm all about the affordable makeup right now. So there's a ton of products in here, some stuff that I have tried before, and then there's also stuff in here that I've never tried before, I've never even seen before, and I'm like really, really stoked to get into it. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for this one, but don't worry, PR haul will be back next Saturday. And then we have a ton of reviews coming to you guys of the holiday kits that I've been trying out. I'm gonna do the same thing with this stuff. I'm gonna leave it in its own little bin, pull things from it, try it out for a while, and then do a whole little recap video of it. So that is my plan. Anyways, if you're brand new, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave, and also give this video a thumbs up if you love these types of videos, and let's go ahead and get into it. If you are shopping for makeup at Target, go on your phone, go on their website and check to see what the price is online versus what is in store. There were a lot of things that were more expensive in store that were cheaper online, like literally a few bucks difference, like no joke. So make sure to check that out before you purchase anything at Target and then screenshot it and try to price match it at the register. I could not believe it because this is on their own website. So just a little heads up there if you're ever shopping for makeup at Target or hey, anything. I, I bet anything could be like this way if they did it with the makeup. So definitely check everything, <laughs> even though it will be kind of time consuming, but I mean, hello, you can save a few bucks. I think it's ridiculous. It should correspond with the online price versus the in-store price, which is crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to make you guys aware of that, but let's go ahead and get into these products. All right, so we're gonna go in the order of the face, but real quick, I don't have a primer in here. I'm still trying to hunt for that e.l.f. putty primer, you guys. So many of you recommended it to me. So many people rave about it. It is sold out everywhere. It's sold out at Walmart, it's sold out at Target. Like I cannot find this primer anywhere so I need to hunt it down but that's the one I want to try first up a foundation that I'm really excited to try out this is the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation it's for normal to dry skin so everyone talks about the matte one I've tried that one that one's nice but I'm really excited to try out the dewy and smooth one. This is so exciting. So I got the shade 110 porcelain. So this is going to be more when I am like where my self tan is kind of almost worn off completely, but not quite yet. So I'm definitely gonna have to try that out when this self tan wears off. As you guys know, the matte one is bomb, but this one I have not really heard anything about. So if you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments down below. If you've tried any of these products, let me know your guys' like review of them in the comments down below. I always love reading your guys' kind of reviews on everything to kind of see what to expect and what you guys love. All right, so I picked up a few powders and the first ones right here, I actually remember trying these out a long time ago and I'm pretty Pretty sure I decluttered it out of my collection and I can't even remember what I thought about it so I really want to try them out again this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 hour powder again these got five stars so I was like yeah you know what let's try this out it'd be awesome to find a good face powder for under ten dollars so I got the shade 100 and 300 you know depending on if I want to like highlight more underneath my eyes and then have the darker shade for out about when I'm self tan but yeah so I got these two right here can't wait to test those out again and see my thoughts on them because I can't remember. I remember it was so long ago when I tried that out. Another powder that I picked up is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is mineral base and it's translucent. I believe there's three different shades. And I was really intrigued by this one. This one had really good reviews. It had like 160 something reviews online. It had five stars. But when I look at it, I'm like, when I picked it up, I was like, oh, this looks like it's gonna leave a white cast. It looks like it's gonna be really chalky. So. I want to feel it real quick. Oh. It's not dry. It actually is pretty creamy, but you can see that there is a white finish to it. Once you blend it into the skin, it does leave a little bit of, like, see how it made my skin a little bit lighter right here? So I'm wondering if it is going to leave a little bit of a white cast. 
That's what I thought, but then I read so many reviews of people saying that they thought it was going to and it didn't. So this is definitely one I'm really excited to try out on my skin and see how this works. Also, a lot of people said it didn't break them out, which made me very happy. So definitely stoked about this guy. He doesn't feel as dry as I thought he was gonna feel. So that's, a, that's already a plus there, but I can definitely tell that it makes that section lighter than anywhere else on my hand. So that's just something I've noticed. Um, another powder that I picked up is an e.l.f. powder. And honestly, e.l.f. has such affordable makeup, you can't go wrong with it. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of stuff that's sort of hit and miss with e.l.f. But this is the HD powder and it's sheer. So this is the packaging, just your typical loose packaging, loose powder, you get what I'm saying. Also what's nice about this one, if you rotate it, it will close it so you don't have a bunch of loose powder just floating around like if you're traveling your bag is like you know getting bustled around if you're at the airport and whatnot so that's really nice about it i'm gonna put a little bit oh it really comes out very easily it's very finely milled it feels just like this one does it's not drying doesn't really feel whole, like it doesn't feel really like chalky at all either. One thing that I already do notice is that it doesn't really make my skin much lighter with where I placed it on the back of my hand as it did with the pressed one. So I'm very, very intrigued by this. Again, it's just like white, white powder scares the crap out of me because <laughs> I feel like it's gonna leave a horrible white cast, but I don't know, this one I feel like I have high hopes for too. So very excited about that. I mean, it'll be cool also to see if maybe like this one is like a little bit easier to handle because it's pressed versus a loose because the loose always makes a mess. But I don't know, I'm just excited. Okay, so those are gonna be fun to try out. All right, so onto some bronzers right here. And one of these I've actually already tried out and I really, really like them. But I got two of them, I got a Rimmel and I got a Maybelline. So first off, let's talk about the Maybelline. This one is bomb, so I was really excited to see that there was a Maybelline product under $10. <laughs> yes, thumbs up, because Maybelline I feel like is getting so pricey. This is the shade 100. What I really like about this one, it's more on the cooler side. So this is perfect for contouring. It's not too warm and it's beautiful on the skin it doesn't leave like any patchiness to it this one i've really enjoyed i've used this one i believe in past videos it usually if anything's titled drugstore it, this is probably in it and then i have the rimmel one here which is the natural bronzer this is a waterproof bronzing powder this one again got five stars like everything was five stars in here the only thing is with this one is I'm definitely going to use this one more as a bronzing powder and not as a contour because it's a little bit more warmer. So if I have a foundation that might be a little bit too cool tone, I need to bring some warmth back into my skin. I'm gonna go in with this one and really add in that warmth around and then I'll go in with the Maybelline and use this one to contour because it's a little bit more of a cooler tone. Usually if you see any, oh, oh my God, you smell good. It smells like, it smells like coconut. <laughs> It smells really good. Um, but this is what I would use this guy for right there. One thing though I can say right now is I am not a fan of this type of packaging that Rimmel does. Like the same thing with their translucent pressed powder that they have, it's just a pain in the butt. I just don't like these ones. I don't like this type of packaging and I feel like it breaks easily too. But again, under $10 and five stars. Now getting into blushes, this first one that I have here is Physicians Formula. This is their powder palette blush in Peachy Glow. So online, it's actually $7.89. Yeah, online at Target. And then in store on my receipt, I can't show it because it actually has like my location area, but it says blush. I think this is the one because I remember that it was a little bit pricier than the others and it's $10.69. So definitely, price match them, you guys, like it's crazy. But anyways, this is the blush that I picked up. It looks really, really pretty. I really gravitated to this one because I like the neutral tones in it and I feel like it would be a good like natural makeup, like natural blush tone for like a natural makeup day or like almost even like a no makeup makeup day, you know, where you just wanna bring some life back into the cheeks. So this is what it looks like right here. Open it up. They always have like a little brush on the bottom, but honestly, those things suck. Oh, whoa, it even has a mirror. How cool is that? But this is the tone. So I thought this was really pretty. It's just like a nice natural peachy tone. I wanna swatch it. Cause that's another thing is you can't really swatch things in the drugstore. Some stuff now is on display for swatching, but not everything. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. That is really, really pretty. And it has a nice sheen to it too. So I really like that one. Can't wait to try that out on my cheeks. 
Um, another blush that I picked up is from Revlon, and I feel like I haven't tried out a Revlon blush in a very long time. So stoked about this one too. This one is called Oh Baby Pink, and it's their matte blush in 001. Okay, so as you can see it right here, it's more of a lighter baby pink. Let's see how this is gonna swatch. I feel like I'm not getting that much color payoff from it, to be honest. I'm not that impressed with it. It'll be interesting with applying it with a brush and seeing, but so far I'm just like, eh, how did this get such good reviews? I just don't get it. I'm kind of in on it. So we'll see how that applies with a brush. Next up we have this one. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush in Fantastical 191. I actually got this collection, but then I ended up just giving it away in a mystery box giveaway because I just didn't have time. I was so busy. And again, like how you guys know, I hate just when makeup just sits. But this one I thought was really pretty. It almost even reminds me of like a deeper shade of All I Need Is Love with my collab with Over Cosmetics. It's more of a orangey shade, which is really pretty when you do like warm looks. But this is what it looks like. Look at that color payoff on this one. This is way better. This is pretty. Oh yeah, it's like, the, it's peachy. You know what, it's a nice peachy scent, but it's not like right when you open up, you're like, you know, ton of ton of scent in your face, like how some of the Too Faced products is. Sometimes the Too Faced products are like a little too overly scented, but this is just a nice touch of peachiness that I like. So like that, can't wait to try that one out. And then from Wet n Wild here, we got another kind of more muted peachy shade. This is their Color Icon and Keep It Peachy. Again, what, like how would this brush do anything for me? No. <laughs> All right, so this is what the color looks like on the inside. It's like a nice like little muted peach shade. This is what it is swatched on my hand right here. Wow, that is really pretty. Nice and pigmented, very just a nice neutral shade. So very excited for that one. Can't wait to try that one out. It definitely has a lot of pigmentation in it compared to some of the other ones. So very stoked about that. Okay, so now getting into some highlights here. I have three highlighters. And the first one is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I believe I've never tried this one out before and it had really good reviews. It has 865 reviews and it has freaking five stars basically, which is insane. So, so excited to try this out. This is what it looks like. This is the one in rose gold. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I can see how this has really good reviews. Look at that. That is so pretty. I would even like this on the top of my lid. I think it would be a beautiful eyeshadow too. But that is stunning. And it just glides right onto the skin. Doesn't even look like it's a powder on top of there, which is really nice. So happy about that one. Next up is Milani one that I've actually believe I've tried out a different shade of it, but I've never tried out this shade. This is their Strobe Light and After Glow 01. So here is this shade right here. As you can see, we're on to the pinky highlights. This is like a nice like icy pink. Ooh. Okay, so here that one is, you can definitely see it's more icier than the Maybelline one, but I feel like this one feels a little bit chunkier. Like it's not as smooth as the Master Chrome from Maybelline just by the touch of it. I feel like I feel a lot more powder with this one. So, so far I kind of like the Maybelline one a little bit more right now, but we have one more to try out, which is another kind of icy pink highlight. This is from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and it's in Blossom Glow. I believe I've tried this one out before, but not in this shade. Here we go. Look at how pretty the inside is, the way they embossed it right there. Okay, so here is the Wet n Wild one right there. It's really pretty and it's definitely is a thinner consistency, doesn't feel as powdery as the Milani one does. So I will be interested to see how those look on the skin once I try them out. I'll probably try them out like back to back kind of thing, where I try out one day will be one, the next day will be the next and kind of see like application so it's really fresh in my mind and I'll just put make some notes on them but so far I like the feel of honestly out of all of them I like the feel of this one the best okay so now getting into a setting spray for the face now that like all the face products are talked about I have these two from Milani these had really good reviews on their website this is the Milani make it last matte and make it last setting spray so this is a 16 hour wear they're both 16 hour wear but online they both have five stars one this has 80 reviews and this one has 332 reviews. Wow, 
crazy. Okay, so this one is going, it's just a matte charcoal setting spray. So this one is going to really mattify the skin. So if you're oily, you're gonna really like this. I'm gonna try this one out and see how I like it to see how mattifying it makes it, especially if I use like a dewy foundation. I'll be interested to see how that goes. Um, and then the other one here will be really nice to try out, especially because it has over 300 reviews and it's five stars. Very stoked about that one to try this and see how that works. And also, crossing my fingers that it does not break me out. I am very like sensitive with certain setting sprays, so I'm hoping that all will be good there. You can also use this one to prime the skin so you can spray it on before doing your foundation. This one right here is more of one that you're gonna use only for setting. You're not gonna use it before you do your foundation. This one is like more of a setting one and then throughout the day. This one you can use it in the beginning, middle, and, and throughout the day. So very excited for those. Now on to some palettes. Ugh, oh, so stoked. Okay, so this one is really, really pretty. It just screams fall to me. It's the Revlon Maverick Color Stay. It's in the shade Rebel. And it says 24 hours on it, but we'll see. Look at this one. I love the colors in it, but who the heck is gonna be able to fit their brushes on this little tiny thing? These are so tiny. Like, let me show you, like, versus my finger right there, the little, little itty bitty ones. It kind of reminds me of the shadows that were in the Gigi Hadid and Maybelline collection, you know, that big palette where they had, or no, it was like also this little tiny palette that they had. And the little shadows were so skinny. It's like, I can barely get my brush in this. <laughs> That's what I feel like with this one, but the colors are really pretty. I just feel like they should have made them a little bit bigger, uh, but I'm gonna swatch a couple and kind of see. So there's this one. It's like more of a darker shade. Oh, wow. That swatched really nicely. Let's do a shimmer right here. Oh yeah, the shimmers are beautiful. My God, these are so pretty. This gold, this like warm gold shade. Look at that. Okay, really excited about this palette. I like this. I just don't like the fact that they made them so teeny tiny. It would be good for travel, but that would just bug me with them being so small and skinny. It's like harder to get a brush in, but definitely with more bolder colors, I'm always using smaller precise brushes. So I won't have a problem getting them in there. It's just, they're so teeny tiny. Like why not make them a little bit wider? I don't know, my first impression of that. Next up, we have the Magnifies Nude Edition from Rimmel. Very excited about this one. I think I've used a Rimmel palette a long time ago. Also, it comes with a sponge on the back and then a brush on this side. I honestly won't probably use that at all, but these are the colors. It's very nice and very smoky, I feel like, very cool toned. Um, so excited to see how these ones swatch. They're a little bit easier to get your fingers in for sure. Ooh, that one. It's very like, I swatch into this guy right here, which feels like he would be darker. Yeah, it doesn't like show too much like color payoff right there. It'll be interesting to try it out with a shot, like with a brush versus my finger. I mean, they're swatching pretty nicely. It's just not as like the opacity isn't quite there of what I thought it was going to be. I wanna see how the shimmers are. Shimmers are pretty right there. So I definitely think you can make this work. I'm gonna try it out, gonna see. Definitely think you can make it work, but I think you're gonna have to really build up with the color if you want it to be a little bit more bolder and deeper. Okay, so for the last palette that I have here, it is the Elf Mad for Matte Summer Breeze. I believe I've tried one of these in the past, like a couple years ago, and I was blown away by how good the palette was. Let me see if this is still the same. But I remember I tried one of these and I was like, whoa, so blown away by how good it was. So here's this plum shade. Not too bad, not too bad. It's a little patchy though. Um, I feel like purples are a little bit harder. Let's try, we're gonna try this one. This is like a warmer, like mauve shade. Ooh, this one swatched really pretty. I love the way that this one swatched. Let me try one more shade. These are all matte by the way, all matte. Let's do the brown. So there is the brown one right there. So they're not too bad. I'm really, I'm kind of excited for these ones. I feel like I'm getting more fall vibes with this one than rather than summer, but I think the color selection in here are really pretty and I really like the browns on this side. Like these would be great transition shades. So I'm stoked about trying that one out, seeing how that one applies. Then going into some mascaras here. So these are like the tried and true, like we have the Maybelline one. This one's bomb, Colossal. I have been using this one since I was like, in college a long time. 
So I picked up one of these, and then I also picked up the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This one had good reviews too. I have not used this one yet, and I hate it when my <sighs> mascara clumps it is the worst because I don't have top lash, I don't do it on my top lashes, but I do it on my bottom lashes, and I hate it when it clumps on my bottom lashes because it just makes them look like crap. So I'm excited to try this one out on my bottom lashes to see if it really is a clump crusher because I don't like clumps. And then last but not least, I picked up a lip liner and I have yet to try this one out. This is from Revlon. It's their Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner. The color looked beautiful. It is called Sienna and it's 635. This is what it looks like right here. I'm like so into brown lip liners right now because I can create, I can like pair any type of like nude, like lip gloss or lipstick with them and they're just so versatile. Oh, this one is so creamy. And look at how beautiful that shade is. Oh, this one is a little bit more on the warmer side. It's so pretty though. This is definitely one that I would like line. You know what? This looks like a little dupe. Looks like a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my God, no, it's just a little bit deeper. Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more pink. There we go but they're like kind of in the same color family. It would've been awesome if I found a dupe for that one because this one I think it's called Pillow Talk, yeah. Pillow, I always say pillow and everyone's like, pillow, it's pillow, pillow talk. <laughs> this one is like one of my favorite lip liners, so it'd be awesome if I had a dupe for it, but this is just a little bit more of a deeper shade of that one, but really pretty. Super stoked about this. It's very creamy. I definitely want to pick up more shades of this one. I want to see how it applies on the lips and how it wears, but so far, I wanna pick up more shades of this one. I think it'd be awesome to also find maybe like a more cool brown shade too. I think that would be really pretty. All right, so that is everything that I picked up from Target. So all this stuff is in like the five star range, is $10 and under. I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. I'm really, really interested to see how it applies. And that is like, I don't wanna do a first impressions. I wanna do stuff where I can see how it wears throughout the day, especially the eyeshadows and the blushes and stuff. Usually that stuff can wear off like after a couple hours and that is just not okay in my book. So I'm gonna be trying these out and seeing how these wear and how they just, how the longevity of them are. So comment down below if there's any of these products that you guys have already tried out, what your thoughts are on them, what other things I should pick up from the drugstore. I always love getting your guys' recommendations, but I hope you enjoyed it. And please give this video a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in the next one.